This process that we have set forth now, that we are referring to as Shivanga, Anga means a limb, that means a limb of Shiva, you are a part of him. So being a part of the creator from the transition or the journey is from being a part of creation to be part of the source of creation or the creator. This is something that is infused in all of us, not just as human beings. Every life around us has the same source. But the biggest advantage we have or the biggest challenge we have, the biggest possibility that we have in our lives is we are capable of realizing it. We are capable of making it into a conscious process. None of the other creatures can do it. None of the other life forms, though they are made of the same stuff, they are never ever able to realize that they are made of this stuff. But if you light the fire of devotion in your heart, you will not live here as a piece of earth, but you will live here as a limb or a part of Shiva. So, as devotees, I want you to bring a new level of sensitivity to everything around you. I want you to bring this culture of a new level of sensitivity and devotion should become the most beautiful and attractive thing. It has always been. This is what human heart longs for, that it wants to be on fire without reason. If it is not on fire without reason, you will set it on fire with hormones. If there is no devotion, you desperately try to cling to somebody. If there is devotion, you will see whatever you want is happening within you. The most beautiful things are happening within you. There is no time even to look around for anything because so much is happening within you. It will be good to do a few years of sadhana and bring that sense of devotion which is absolute balance within yourself. When you are a devotee, you are in total balance because devotion brings that dimension into you. It looks like an extreme process. Devotion or a devotee is an extremist who is not against anything. We need such people. Right now, we create extremists who are always against somebody. I want you to just imagine, people like the terror people, <laughs> they're causing havoc on this planet. But there is one dimension to them which is very valuable, that is, they're willing to die for what they hold as valuable. This is a great quality. Only thing is they're against somebody, that's the only problem. Suppose they had no enemy. Suppose you have no enemy and you're incapable of an enemy but you're an extremist, you would be a fantastic, intense human being, isn't it? A very intense and wonderful life you would be if only you did not make an enemy within yourself. If you do not create an enemy and you're an extremist, it's a great way to be because you will live an intense life, absolutely intense life when you're not for anything or against anything, just an extremist, you will be a great piece of life.